hi everyone i went to the dollar tree store all by myself i gave myself a twenty dollar limit to see what i could do so i hope that you stick around and join me and see how well i did at sticking to that twenty dollar limit everyone I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel to my viewers my subscribers thank you thank you so much it means the world to me to have you stop in and visit from time to time I hope if you are new to my channel you click on that little red subscribe button over there I would love to have you come back and join me for future videos and today I am going to be doing a Dollar Tree haul and well before I start it's not a public service message it's just a coffee message so I love as you know I love my coffee so I am actually using a Christmas mug because I, I just love this mug. It's something my mom uh, had given me one Christmas. So I got a set of these mugs. It's like a little Santa gnome. I just love this. And it's a nice big cup of coffee so that you can put a lot of extra whipped cream in it. No, you can put a lot of coffee in it. So today I am having my Javalier, my caramel macchiato coffee. So you get this packet and then you get your little carrot cake up. It is so, so good. Of course, I do top it off with some additional whipped cream and my Hershey syrup, my indulgent caramel flavor thing. You can't see my whipped cream anymore because I accidentally licked it out. Um, actually, I, I didn't lick it out. Yeah, I did. Yeah. So anyway, Dollar Tree. So I finally got up the nerve to go to the Dollar Tree. And you may not know this, or maybe you do, but I get some severe anxiety and panic attacks when I go to places by myself for the first time. Usually once I've been there a couple of times, and I am fine to just go there like it's any other day of the week. But for me, that's the first time, so just... It's just, it's frightening for me. So I don't, I don't know. I have trouble catching my breath and just breathing and just, uh, yeah. So some days I just can't even do it. But I have seen so many, gets so many videos and of nice hauls of people that go to the Dollar Tree and really get some really nice items. So I've been dying to do it. I built up the nerve a couple of weekends in a row to go, but when I got there, the parking lot was full and I just, I just couldn't go in with that many people. But, um, so anyway, when I went last weekend, there were three cars in the parking lot. And I thought, today's the day. I am doing it today. And I did. So I gave myself this $20 challenge. And it was really easy to keep it under 20 because the shelves were bare. Just like um, my other stores in the area, like our uh, Cub Grocery Foods, or the Target, the food section, or the Walmart food section. The shelves have just haven't been stocked again since COVID started. And it's, it's kind of hard sometimes when you need things. But anyway, haven't really had to go without anything. So anyway, I wanted to spend uh, $20, keep it under 20, and I spent $12.59 for tax. So I think I did pretty well. I don't think it was a fair representation of it, but I think I did okay. So anyway, this is my bag. So let's get into what I got. So this first thing that I got is a little decoration, and I, I just think this is so cute. It's a farm fresh pumpkin, just little pumpkin display which I will probably set up behind me someplace when I do future videos. Got a food item and I was really hoping that they had some of those big frozen pretzels and um, yeah they did not have any. But anyway they had this banquet, this backyard, backyard barbecue meal. Um, the mac and cheese was okay. It wasn't like anything I would, if it was just a thing of the macaroni and cheese I wouldn't buy it again. Then I had this uh, pretend pork li riblet. Uh, made with pork and chicken. I had two bites out of that and the rest of it went down the garbage disposal. Yeah, I would not buy that again. Gummy bears. I love gummy bears. So, of course, you know, I had to buy one. That's gone. I ate it. Yeah, yeah I am proud. So anyway, this next thing was butterfly cookies by uh, Biscuits Palmiers. And this reminded me, back home, we used to have Stella Doro cookies and pastries and they were just so so good and there was one that she did that was I think we called it angel wings and that's kind of like what these look like where they're kind of like and light and flaky like a pastry but it's a cookie these were very very similar not as good as the Stelladoro but very very good I would definitely buy these again I've lived out here over 20 years and I haven't seen Stelladoro out here so I'm I don't know if it's a New England thing but 
not a Minnesota thing. I miss those. So next, when I took this out of the freezer, I thought it was going to be a glutton for punishment with some more of these uh, riblet things, but these, surprisingly, were good. They're already fully cooked. You just heat them in the microwave. I chopped up these. I added some chopped up lettuce, some onions, some peppers, and I put in a little bit of extra garlic sauce, um, some extra barbecue sauce, a little bit of garlic, some cheese. I rolled it up on a tortilla flat, made a couple of sandwiches that lasted for like three nights. So, And I thought these were good. I like these. I would buy those again. I'm really shocked, surprised, and amazed that I did not open these yet because I love nacho cheese mix. mixes. So it's got the pretzels, it's got the Cheetos, it's got the nacho tortilla chips. Knowing this is just gonna be fun, I know I'm going to love this. And now that I've shown it to you, this will probably be gone tonight. And I think I forgot I had these in the bag because otherwise these would be gone too. Well, at least one of them. So one is this milk chocolate caramel filled bar. I know I'm going to love that because I love caramel. And the other one, I'm really not sure of. It's a dark chocolate with raspberry cream filled. I know you may not like that one. So if I don't, I'm sure somebody at work will uh, finish that off for me. I got this uh, eyeliner. It's a black-brown shade. Because sometimes you feel like black is too stark and sometimes brown is too light. So I like it when they have the brown-black together. I go through a lot of uh, big pounds mainly because I lose them. So I grab these these ones. So there's eight pens there that I will be sure, sure to lose. And I actually used one of these already. These are graduation cards. And these ones were only 50 cents each. And it's got the year on it, so I think that's really cool. A little message inside. And my neighbor today finally had his graduation party now that uh, things are starting to move again. Plus he's going away to school, so we had to ha have it quick. So I actually gave one of them to him today with a little bonus inside. And I got another one to do, so that'll be cool. And this, I saw, it was just kind of like a whim thing. I used to love getting these really decorated fans when I was younger. And Sabrina actually went shopping with the jelly beans at her Dollar Tree. And Tori Pie got a couple of these. So she was chatting with me on FaceTime the other night. She's just fanning and feeling herself, so I thought... I'm going to have one too. So next time we FaceTime, we can be fanning each other and playing with filters and fans. So anyway, loving this. I think these are just so pretty. Brings me back to being young and, and playing with these. So that was everything that I got in my Dollar Tree. I'm really looking forward to going back, seeing what else I can find there. Maybe now that um, I'll be a little bit more relaxed, I can spend some more time in there looking. And... Anyway, I want to thank everyone for joining me. It was a lot of fun finally getting brave to going in. Next time, I'll see if I can get closer to $20 and see what we can do. Anyway, thanks everyone for joining me. I appreciate your stop again, spending time with me. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and we'll be chatting again soon. Bye-bye, everyone.